Hey guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be filming my going out go-to makeup look. That's such a mouthful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off by concealing my eyelids using the Last Imperfection Perfection Concealer and my Beauty Blender. I'm then going to go with the shade Hush Hush just to, um, as like a base shade. I'm going to put all the shades on the screen as a base shade to like, I don't know how to explain it, to like set my eyelids, I guess you could say. Then I'm going to go in my crease with the shade Mystic. I love this stage where you're doing like the first initial part of it and it just looks absolutely crazy okay and then I am going to go in with the shade where is it <clears throat> with the shade P Piz Pizazz Pizazz I think it's been and just again go over my lid with that And then, using a tiny, tiny little brush, I'm going to go with the shade Bling Bling just to do my inner corner so that it's a bit more lighter and stands out a little bit more for So this eyelid has worked and this one hasn't. Why? Okay, so I managed to fix it in the end. I went and then went in with my Technic eyeliner on my waterline and my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara on my eyelashes. So now I'm going to move on to my face. So the first thing I do is, because this is a prep, a primer and a um, setting spray, I like to spray this over afterwards so that it sets my eyes and primer. It is the Rimmel London, Rimmel London Instant Fix and Go primer and then I go in with the Mario Badescu um, Skincare Hydro moisturizer with vitamin C just to moisturize my face a bit okay so then I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade you know when you're drowning you don't actually inhale until right before you black out Okay, so it doesn't have the shade on the bottle, but I'm just going to use my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. And I used to use my Real Techniques foundation brush to put it on with, but I found that my Beauty Blender from Primark worked so much better. But I just need to give them a clean, basically. <laughs> And 
and then again I go in with my Last Imperfection concealer and I just put this in my en on my under eyes and down my nose and then any spots I have that I want to cover up. And then once I've put on my concealer, I go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and just set my face. I love this powder, like this is my like go-to powder always, like no matter what. Like, I know it's like a high branded powder, but this powder works, especially if you have oily skin, it works an absolute miracle. I love it. The only thing is, I know I definitely need to buy some darker powders and concealer for the summer because I get, like, my face got really tanned on my holiday and all my products are, like, pale apart from my foundation, but... <laughs> and then I go in with my 7 Divine and Contour Contour Palette and just bronze myself on. Bronze contour. I don't really contour. I bronze it. I use it as bronzer for my sense. So like, bronze me up a bit because I feel like I look really pale right now. Does anyone else sign? They can do one side of their face really easily with a brush, and then you go into the other side. It's like I'm trying to do it. And then I just add it to my. Temple. Is that why it's called my forehead? And then just under my cheeks, just to give myself a bit more colour. And I don't like putting blusher on, so I don't put blusher on at all. And then at this stage, I like to moisturise my lips. So I use any lip balm that I have, and at the moment, I'm using my Jack Wheels lip balm. The lid is disgusting, right? It's in a makeup bag. But I just put this on because my lips get really dry during the foundation stage when it's been like covered with powder and everything and so I just put that on and then I go in and do my eyebrows which I'm going to do off camera so I'll see you guys in a moment and then finally so this is my eyebrows afterwards I don't do much to them but um, I like to put them in a little bit um, and then I go in with the MUA Shimmer Highlights Powder just using my finger because I feel like this is more effective than my brush and I just put it just above where I put the contouring powder and on my nose just to make my nose pop a little bit then I go in with the MAC my lipstick this is just like a pink lipstick so my lips aren't too crazy especially if I do something to my eyes I like to make sure my lips are quite subtle if that makes sense So to finish off the makeup look, I just go back in with my Rimmel Insta Fix and Go um, Prep and Prime and just, just set my makeup. There we go. And then I just let that dry for a little bit. But yeah. I'm fine. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you tune in next week for a new video. Bye.